there are spiritual forces please listen now and controlling powers that sit upon every territory these are the spirits people of god that control the minds influence the culture of a place you can know the controlling powers within a territory by seeing the patterns that cut across the people that live there there are territories where the men never become responsible this is not some village thing anywhere the moment you enter that city there are cities the moment you enter even with money money goes down many years ago i took a cab in abuja up to 10 maybe 11 years ago and the man made a statement that surprised me we were talking and he said sir do you know that all the money i make in abuja i never seem to do anything useful with it he said so i came up i think he went to inquire from a medium or something like that and the man told him you would never be able to do anything with your money in abuja when you take your money go out quickly out of abuja and he said right now i've built a three bedroom flat because every time i collected money i will go out of that territory you notice that there are territories that carry certain patterns please understand whether you believe in what i'm saying or not just pay attention you will soon believe it is true there are territories where you only survive there by becoming a slave when you are within that territory you are forced to serve provided you are not domiciled within the earth the soil of that territory it takes warfare to dislodge these controlling powers mark chapter 5 let me show you something mark chapter 5 permit me it's a reading that is a bit long we'll start from verse 1 please follow this these truths are scattered all through scripture and they came over to the other side of the sea in fact let's we'll, we'll get back to mark chapter 5 let's start let's take the account of luke luke chapter 8 let's start from 22 so that you will understand the context luke chapter 8 22 now watch this now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples and he said to them let us go on to the other side of the lake and so they launched forth they wanted to make advancement and the first thing that happened was as they as they sailed he fell asleep and there came down a what help me please a a storm of wind what kind of description is that it didn't say there came a wind a storm of wind on the lake and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy 24 and they came in and awoke him saying master we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and it ceased and they were calm you would think jesus just spoke to the wind he knew what he was speaking to are we together now now let's go to mark chapter 5 and verse 1 it's still the same rendition but i just want us to see the account of mark mark chapter 1 5 sorry mark 5 1 and they came over to the other side of the sea into the country of the gatherings uh-huh and when he was come out of the ship immediately who came there met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit question the bible says the man dwelt in mountains who told him jesus was coming as soon as jesus went to the other side the first person to meet him was not the mayor of the city the first person remember there was a boy's terror storm they were the controlling powers over that territory knowing that a man was coming to the other side to dislodge the gates of darkness understand the spiritual progression the winds you would call it a situation the same way you plan to relocate to lagos and lost your job what is going on here what suddenly happened controlling powers we take territories when we understand the warfare dimension of prayer there is the intercessory dimension of prayer there is prayer commanding petitions but there is the art of spiritual legislature we call it warfare 
manipulating spiritual possibilities to align themselves to God's will. Verse 3. The Bible says, Who had his dwelling place among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been oft bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs. Notice this. Look at how Satan destroyed Gadarene. Number one, the controlling spirits found the spiritual voice that would later be the evangelist over that land and captured him. And the legion dwelt in him, took him to the mountains and kept him there. Controlling powers. Jesus says, let's go to the other side. And situations begin to happen in a strange way and he rebukes it and then as soon as he arrives he meets a madman and hear what the madman says verse 6 but when he saw jesus he ran and worshipped him seven and he cried with a loud voice saying now listen please what have i to do with thee jesus thou son of the most high i adjure thee by god that thou torment me not eight for he said come out of the man you know the unclean spirit and all of that nine and he asked what is your name and he said legion for we are many ten and he besought him much that he would not send him away out of the territory territory jesus do whatever you will do but don't take us out of this territory we dwell here we have grown with the people we manipulate their minds we are responsible for the widespread poverty we are responsible for the women working for the men we are responsible for the inexplainable patterns i ministered in a crusade some years ago quite a while in shiruro and i saw a situation that disturbed me i saw many women at least i'm not exaggerating i'm not exaggerating sincerely at least 16 or 17 deaf and dumb and they said the moment they gave birth like a woman goes to the labor room and gives birth she becomes deaf and dumb in a strange way so the pastors were trying to bring their members to just sit down and when i prayed for one two i said no this is not a an issue of healing there are controlling powers listen when you see similarities in outcomes stop focusing on the individual cases there are controlling powers responsible for that the warfare dimension of victory believers do not understand this there is no gate there are gates that don't open they are broken he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder as any man who has attained a level of influence in any field if he's honest with you he will tell you he knows what he did whether it's in music like like pastor nathaniel whether it is in business they will tell you you heard him just talking about um um you know zenith bank and all of that now you will not see that part on tv I walked for more than one hour on the streets of Zaria from a point in town until I get to another town. I was praying in tongues.